Hi everyone, we are here today to talk about our international marketing project that is to launching the Copperberg Premium Cider in the Chilean market. Uh, Copperberg Cider is a very well established product in here in Ireland. So we think it's going to be a good opportunity to launch this product in Chile. Uh, this is our team. So me, Daniele, we have Natalia and Angelis. Uh, I am from Brazil, Sao Paulo, and the main topics I'm going to talk today is the marketing place, our target, and the customer profile. So why we choose Chile? We had to choose a country in Latin America. So we found in Chile a good opportunity because of its economy and population. Uh, we have in, in Chile, the people are uh, up to 19 million people there. So it's not a huge encounter and it will be nice to work with them. Also, their middle age is around 35 years old, which is inside our target. The majority of people live in the city. So we found this very important for our product as well. Also, the main cities are Santiago and Valparaíso. Their GDP and salary are very uh, considerable as well. And the Chile is leader in the consumer of alcoholic drinks. So it was a very relevant information for, for our product. So our target will be uh, people who like alcoholic drinks in Chile. And we check that they love alcoholic drinks with fruits and sugar. For example, they have, they have shisha, terremoto, borgonia. They have their traditional drink that is called piscola, that is a pisco, a traditional drink with Coca-Cola. So we could see they have already this habit to drink this kind of product. So Copperberg will be very interesting to launch in this market. Also, a very relevant information about their habits is the football, because they are fanatic for that. For us, this will be relevant because we are going to launch this product in the World Cup next week, next year. <laughs> so we considering that they are going to have to drink together, to drink and taste a new product. So Copperberg will be there and it will be nice for people knowing our brand. Uh, our customer profile is going to be male and female, around 22 to 35 years old. Uh, we are considering people that is already in the marketing because it's a premium product, so we need people that can afford this kind of drink. Uh, we created here two personas just to have a better visualization of our, our, what are, we are expecting. So we have Sofia, she's 29, she's a manager in a multinational company, she loves to go for a drink after work, she likes shisha, that is an alcoholic drink with a sweet taste. So this kind of profile is very relevant for us because she likes to go for a drink after work, we, we have this Copperberg and it will be nice for this moment, she loves the, the, the sweet taste, so you'll be relevant for us as well. So you have also Matteo, he is 22, he already works and he loves to get together with his friends. One interesting point about Matteo, he loves football. So we believe that this kind of profile will be interesting because we can, we are going to launch our product in this, in this moment. So people who love football, you get, do you be known and they can propagate our brand. Also, he loves Piscola, the drink that I talked about, and he loves to try different drinks. So if you have this kind of customer, you'll be interesting because they are, they will be, they will know the Copperberg, they will try and we are sure they love that. So this is the summary about our first topic about the, the country and our targets. But Natalia are going to talk more about the local regulations about the country and all the details. Thank you very much for your attention. Thanks, Dani. I am Natalia. I am from Northeast of Brazil. And as a part of our, our plan to launch 
Copperberg Cider in Chile marketing, it's necessary to evaluate the local regulations, tax and duties, EU Chile agreements, the challenge for the market entry, and the pest analysis. Local regulations. Alcohol beverage represent almost 4% of the domestic consumption. To export to Chile is necessary approval from the agriculture and livestock services, at least 30 days before the importation. About duties and taxes, Chile usually applies 6% tariff for products. However, Chile is included, or cider is included in a category called luxury goods. It applies 50% tax to entry into the Chile marketing, differently of the VAT, which is 19% to all imports. Agreements highlights. The EU agreement was signed in 2003 and Chile Europe Free Trade Association was signed in 2004. These agreements maintain a close relationship between Chile and Europe continent. The agreements remove tariffs, barriers, and guarantees protection for intellectual property. The EU, the EU is the third largest trade partner of Chile, account for 12% of its overall exchange. Chile has signed 24 agreements. In total, it represents alliance with more than 60 countries. The marketing challenge are tough competition, small market size, business people in Chile are very conservative, the government requirements uh, demand patience and tolerance due to the various approvals and permits, uh, the small groups are owners of the, the huge percentage of Chile enterprise. It what isn't good for the fair competition. Inflation outpassed wage, incre wage increase, uh, resulting loss of buying power. The pest analysis, the political scene. Chile has low level of corruption, a presidential system, and the, the government has uh, an open approach to globalization and support the privatization. The economic scene, the three primary uh, industries in Chile is mining, agriculture, and forest. In imports, the leader partner is USA. In exports, the leader partner is China. Both moving around 77 billion per year. The country has an open economy and an impressive network. Men are paid 6% more than women. In the social scene, mother language is Spanish. More than half of the country are Catholic. 88% are formed for white and non-indigenous. Chilean are very nationalist and proud of the literacy and the high levels of education. The technology. Chile is open to technology and its advance. Show interest in the electric power, natural gas pipeline, coal mines and infrastructure. In the legal system, laws are influenced by the West European legal system and the book of patents are used for mine and chemical uh, industry. Uh, the less and not least important, the environment, most of the ecological conflicts belong to the mining, 21 of out 34, extraction, extraction of mineral, construction material, waste management, water management, and biodiversity, biodiversity conservation. In general, Chile is number 33 in the ranking of environment sustainability worldwide. Thanks for your attention. Now, Angelis will continue. Hey, I'm Angeles. I'm from Santiago, Chile. Uh, I'm going to talk about our market entry and for peace, and I'm going to explain the visual parts. So to start to understand the characteristics of our product, we should say the, the Copperberg cider is an imported, imported cider with a really refreshing flavor. And we can find cider with, uh, in a strawberry and lime flavor, pear or mixed fruit. It's highly recommended to drink that cider with ice. Now it's available in can or bottles. Another characteristic that we can mention, it's vegan and gluten-free products. About the branding of the, of the, the, the Copperberg, we can say the black represents elegance, 
uh, yellow represents gold and red represents the strength. Uh, image on the label changes according to the flavor. As the pricing strategy, we choose to work with fixed cost and the product should cost like not more, not less than 294 euros per bottle. So distributors uh, such as off license and supermarket must add their profit margin to make an attractive to sell the product and has to be between seven and 12%. Another thing to consider, we should say it about the place, we are gonna launch the product in Santiago, Concepcion and Valparaiso. And Copper is considering traditional channel and retail as a brand, as a place to brand positioning. The product launching will be take place during the World Cup during November, 2022. Also, we can combine the World Cup with the warmer uh, climb, climate uh, in, that, in that season of the, of the year. Activation should take place in bar and restaurant and it's essential because there is where the people gather each other and enjoy for, for a drink or something. Promotion, we can say uh, the promotion will be in charge of Distributa Portugal because they have the knowledge and they know how to launch a new product in, in Chile because they have a lot of years working with, with different brands. And the advertising will be work with them in conjunction with them. And advertising on social networks to create a relationship with customers would be essential. We'll be sold uh, the cider in two different uh, formats. We can say individually and four packs as well. Uh, social media will have fundamental participation in the marketing strategy. The campaign in social media and mass media will begin one month before the launch. Now I'm going to explain a little bit our visual pieces. And here we have Instagram and YouTube advertising. Why we choose Instagram? Because it's one of the most important platforms that the people is using now. And it allows you to create a closer contact with your customers and create a new potential consumers. So here we can, we can do, for example, campaigns, promotions, contests, launches, events. The same happened with YouTube advertising because we, when we are, you are seeing a video, when you are watching a video actually, you can, you can have a closer uh, relation with your brand because you are seeing something, the, the brand is suffering something for you. So that's why we choose YouTube and Instagram both to work with them. In another, in another hand, we have shelf advertising and we, we were planning to, to buy a space on the retail chain to have position there and attract the customer to get our, our product. So that's why we are gonna put some advertising on the shelf in, the, in that position, that, as I said before, and it's considered the World Cup as a, as a topic during the season that we are launching the product. And then we are gonna come back to the normal brand, but we, we are planning to, to still getting a privileged space on the supermarket. Another thing that we were, we were considering is branded glasses and sunshade. Why? Because it's a good strategy positioning the, the brand in pubs or restaurants. And also, as I said before, because of the warmer climate. And the other thing that we're considering is like the, to brand the folded carton for the, for the packs. As I said, we are gonna launch the product in four packs. So we are gonna, um, we are gonna print the packaging with a World Cup theme. And then we are gonna come back again to the normal, normal packaging as a copper bank. So that's it for my part. Thank you so much for your attention.